Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, we're gonna do something simple. It's a, a revisit of old uh, tutorials, how to make a low polygon tree model uh, procedurally. I will be using Spreadshop to do this. It's gonna be very, very easy. So let's get started. We can start with um, a line, okay? Because line is actually super handy to generate any kind of branch, uh, branching or anything that you can simply turn into mesh um, so we start with a line by default the line actually grow in the x-axis but you can see the option here y and z because the tree kind of draw up upward so we, we use the z-axis we don't need to center it out it's actually good to have line at that point zero 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 um, number of vertices and step affects the the actual tree the uh, so we can keep that um, so yeah we're gonna save this this is low poly tree some people call it the like a like a lollipop kind of tree and in order to skin it um, you have polyline viewer which is a curve and you also have um, Skin modifier. Which one do you want? Um, I guess I will just use a polyline viewer for now, for simplicity. So polyline viewer really is going to generate a curve, and you can make it smooth if you turn on B spline. For low poly model, really you want like S. And if you want, since the tree doesn't kind of grow like that, it's it's too stiff now. It's too straight. We probably want to use randomizer, randomize input vertices. So now we can randomize the tree, like so. So that's gonna be the branch. Let's simplify it once. Just yeah, I think that's better. For the radius, really, um, I think range integer or range float can do the job. Depending on the number of vertices right here. So if we have six, we want to have six count of this uh, radius value. And we want it so the start and the end. The start and the end actually um, kind of. We cannot re reverse it, I don't think. Oh, apparently we can. Okay. So start with four stop at around one so that's kind of like a starting to make our low polygon tree right there and save this real quick well save as the next thing we want to do we want to get the this point at the top to place our our tree bush so for that we can use the line again just use the first and last list and just get the points at the very top so that's the middle that's the first and that's the last points from the line so we can use that as the center point for our tree bush tree bush for the tree bush really um, you can use many different way random vector actually can be good for that you know I'll show you random vector and it's just a bunch of points like so and if you use um, convex hull you're gonna get a mesh okay and you can scale the convex um, scale this random vector you can randomize the seed but it's gonna be still like rounded kind of so you want to maybe like, randomize input vertices of this random vector Make it slightly more random, slightly more interesting looking tree. Now, for the position, you just plug this this guy in. Yeah, so just make this green color. So now it's starting to resemble a tree. This guy is still using the, the viewer node, viewer draw. Um, I use viewer draw a lot, um, if you notice. And, but yeah, this is starting to get somewhere course use a frame info plug into the seed 
and also to the seed of this uh, randomization for the tree branching so now we are starting to get our tree actually this is almost pretty much done you can of course um, experimenting with the uh, noise and then all kind of you know like you can randomize the size scale of the tree as well if you like random number for the scaling for example yeah something like this you know randomize the seed as well like whenever you see the seed you can plug in a frame number into that guy and now we have all kind of different tree you can generate real quick um, and for the final touch really a viewer node is good but maybe you want to have like a real object so bmesh viewer and finally plug this guy in there this is a convex hull it needs to be merged convex hull it, has, it says 10 oh, okay random number should be 1 okay merge it so this is the the three top that we need um, to place at the top of the tree trunk we can give it a material if you like so this is uh, the usual brownish color material it's a good idea to name thing actually this is tree trunk matte material so this is uh, just for that thing and for this guy it's gonna be the three bush material give it a green and now you have random tree generator and it is very low poly uh, for the tree trunk if you want to be a little bit more random you can actually do something like this you know like bring bring the polygon curve back into this guy so turn off the visibility turn off this render visibility and just use objects um, object ID out and you get this this guy it turn on post modifier and also randomize input vertices if you like in here give it some value so yeah that's slightly better I guess you can increase the number here and what else maybe you want to triangulate as well triangulate mesh it's kind of working nicely this is polygon closing there so yeah if you want a more like triangulated tree so now you will need to have another B mesh viewer so plug that in plug that in tree trunk there you go super easy low polygon tree you can generate very very quickly and yeah if you like this one I'll I can have another tutorial where you bake you bake like a maybe hundred version of this tree and then you scatter it using animation nodes or using spray chalk as well anything or even blender particles so if you don't like how the tree trunk at the bottom looks like it's too bendy uh, you probably can fix it somewhere down here but there you go, this is procedural tree, um, low poly, low poly tree generator using Spreadshop. Oh. If you want to do something further, you know, you can always use um, remesh and enable block. So remesh, enable block. And you get this uh, Minecraft type kind of tree. Um, Okay, that's uh, needs more resolutions. Smooth shading, no off. So yeah, if you if you ever wanna offset the tree or something, you just do it back here. But I think I quite like this one. So yeah, that's how you generate a low polygon tree using SpreadShop add-on in Blender. 
this is just one of the way to do to do it. Um, there are many ways to do this, of course, um, but I like doing it this way. Hopefully, you find this useful. Let me know what you think. Any question, let me know uh, down below in the comment section. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you in the next.